Welcome Taurus. I'm back guys with another video for y'all. So this is going to be a general read. Okay. It's going to be really is going to be like your, how you view your person and how your person views you. Okay. So if you're interested in seeing how your person views you, then stay tuned. All right. If you are new to the channel, welcome guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We would love to have you here to join this family. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm sorry y'all, but my voice, let me get a cup of water. Cause this sounds a little raspy. Let me see. Let me see. I'm sorry y'all, but let me get me together. Cause baby, I've been doing these readings back to back to back to back. And yeah, my voice sounds so cracky. Um y'all this is going to be pretty much like you know a read to where you can see how your person feels about you and vice versa for the cross watchers <laughs> for my cross watchers that are watching mm -hmm, they be watching they be scoping they be trying to see what's going on all right so <clears throat> yeah that's a lot better let me get a Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Spirit, I ask for clear, concise uh, clarity on Taurus. Okay. Taurus person. Go ahead and show me how Taurus person feels about Taurus. <clears throat> and then we're going to see how Taurus feels about their person. And then we're going to break it all together. You know, do a quick read at the end. Okay. So, oh yeah, guys, um, the Money Magnet Oil, guys, it is sold out. However, um, under the new moon, <laughs> I am making another batch. Actually, it's already prepared, but I haven't bottled them up and I haven't labeled them yet. So when, when I bottle everything up and label it, then I'll let you guys know that it's ready and we can go ahead and start shipping out. Shipping days are going to be Monday and Friday. All right. Monday and Friday are shipping days. Okay. So if you want to pre order, you can. I would suggest to pre order. Oh, uh, yeah. The Nine of Wands wanted to jump out. So somebody's guarded. Okay. They can feel like you're guarded. Like you're, <laughs> like, um, Maybe you're wounded or something like that. <clears throat> show me, show me how Taurus this person feel about Taurus. Let's see how do they view Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus? Let's go ahead and get this out because <laughs> the messages are ready to come out. Okay, we got the Eight of Pentacles and the um, Four of Cups here. This is someone not putting forth the effort okay i'm getting like someone could not be you know not putting forth the effort they could feel like you're not putting any effort in okay so yeah we got the ace of pentacles oh okay so they just went ahead and jumped out so let's let's talk we got the king of cups at the bottom of the deck pisces cancer scorpio oh definitely cancer with the um chariot card here Ooh, somebody's definitely like uh, secluded and doing some soul searching. They may feel like you are kind of like staying to yourself and going within the high priestess and the hermit. Those are my spiritual cards. Those are, you know, looking for guidance, inner guidance, going within yourself and looking for that, that <laughs> going deep. Okay. Might be on a hiatus. All right. But we got the... Um, chariot and the king of cups pisces cancer scorpio so we got the ace of pentacles okay so they could feel like they could feel like you guys um are focused on your finances and your career what's the ace of pentacles here okay the seven of wands i'm getting like a really aggressive energy see we got you guys this energy 
with the uh, Empress here, Taurus or Libra. Yeah, like, I'm getting like somebody's giving somebody some space. I, I feel like they feel like you are throwing yourself into your career or uh, your finances. Like, yeah, with the Queen of Cups, Pisces, definitely water energy here. You could be dealing with the water sign. Um, but yeah, like I'm getting very busy, very occupied. Okay, like the two of pentacles is somebody who's multitasking, has a lot going on. Um, yeah, and like trying to find, like you're too busy to resolve this issue. That's what I'm getting. Like I'm getting that there's some type of issue at hand with the five of swords. Okay, or there's like with the three of pentacles, you're like really, really focused on work or this is work related. Like your focus is on work. Like, you're too busy to resolve the issue. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, like throwing yourself into work is what I'm getting. Um, they could feel cut off with this death card here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. But we got the death card here. So, this is an ending. Also, transformation. Okay, yeah. See, they may feel like the relationship is over with the Ten of Cups. Yeah, like some, okay. Oh, wow. So, some truth came out with the Knight of Cups. Somebody could have went through somebody's phone with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups. Somebody could have found out some information uh -huh, about somebody, what they've been doing and with their private parts here with this Ace of Wands. Temperance is Sagittarius' energy. But I'm getting like the, the, they feel like the relationship has ended. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Somebody's either not happy. Yeah, like, they, this is the nine of swords. Like, somebody here is stressing. Oh, somebody's tired of stressing, tired of being worried, tired of being up late at night worrying about this relationship. Why is the nine of swords here? Yeah, the eight of wands, okay, and the ace of wands. Somebody told somebody told your partner something that got them that has them like stressed out. Yeah, and they feel like you're not trying to fix it or you're not trying to correct it. You're not putting forth any effort. But one thing about that they need to know about a Taurus is Taurus are very stubborn. Y'all gonna sit in that comment section and say that y'all not, but y'all are stubborn. Y'all are stubborn and and it's like, you know, it's not easy. Y'all not easily budged. Okay. So we got the emperor here, Aries is energy, but you know, they could be feeling like you are like controlling or you're standing like, you know, being very dominant. Why is the emperor here? The Justice card, Libra's energy. I'm getting like somebody's happy when somebody leaves. I'm not just putting that out there. Um, why is the Justice card here? The Star card. Oh, wow. I'm getting that they feel that you are very dominant or uh, very tough, a tough cookie. Like, you're not easily broken. That it's not, you know, like, it's like they can't really get through to you. Um, that's why that Nine of Wands jumped out. Like, they feel like you're very, like, it's, you're guarded, okay? I feel like they they're making plans with the Two of Wands. I'm getting like plan, planning something to go through with the justice card. Be careful. The justice system could be involved. Why is the justice here? I'm getting like planning on getting some get back. Yeah, see with the seven of swords. The seven of swords, you got to be careful. And the chariot, like somebody's taking some type of action. Somebody could even be like uh, vandalizing someone's car or doing something like just be careful because I feel like this person is kind of plotting on y'all. 
like plot and some get back. Um, and because the reason that I say that is because we got the star card, which is Aquarius's energy, but we got the three of swords. Okay, so like they're hoping that you feel some type of of pain or sorrow. Why is the three of swords here? Yeah, the moon. Yeah, I'm getting Pisces this energy, but like I got the star and the moon here. Yeah. Ooh, they're tired of you always winning the argument or you always getting all of the attention in some way, shape, or form. Um, why is the moon card here? The king of cups. Definitely, I'm getting Pisces' this energy. Um, yeah, it's like they're waiting for you to get mad. <laughs> this person is pressing your buttons on purpose and it's very malicious with the five of swords the two of pentacles they like to keep things they like to keep the drama going and like you are like yeah whatever i got i got other things that i could be doing i don't got to you know i'm busy at work i'm busy focused on my pentacle i'm busy focused on my back of the butt <laughs> taurus is earth is earth energy and one thing about it, I know about a Cappy and a Taurus is that they bought their sh money, okay? They bought their career and their finances and security, okay? So, um, this person trying to nitpick with you and trying to get you to, you know, budge, it's going to be tough trying to get a Taurus to budge. <laughs> mm. So, let's see how you feel about this person. Let's see how you feel about this person, Taurus. This person over here trying to get y'all, trying to press y'all buttons. Taurus. Okay, so how does Taurus feel about their person? Okay, page of cups. That just like flew out. Okay. All right, what else? Okay. Ooh, ooh. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, so we got the page of cups, the three of pentacles, and the ten of pentacles and the six of cups. Okay, so the world and the three of wands. Okay, so uh, it looks like y'all are waiting for this chapter to be closed. Like you're waiting for this person to get over it. Or waiting for them to like, you know, just waiting for this this to be over with. Um, with the page of cups, this is communication. Okay, you okay, tell them the truth. Queen of Swords. It's like I told y'all the truth. I told you the truth already. You either want clarity from this situation or you've already given this person clarity. Why is the ace of swords here? Yeah, the tower and the justice card. Like, I'm getting, yeah, like, so <laughs> y'all walked away from this person. Or they left, or somebody. I feel like you guys walked away from them. And I feel like with the tower card, it was all of a sudden. Like, it was like they didn't see it coming. Yeah, because there was a big disagreement, an argument possibly about money or resources or something like that. Somebody stormed out, got mad, um, and left. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Temperance. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. And King of Wands, definitely fire energy. Or this person has a lot of fire in their chart. Yeah. Ooh, you're not accepting this offer. You don't feel loved by this person you don't feel the love you don't if this person is offering you something you're not taking it Ooh, mm. yeah yep you don't want it the ten of swords and the king of pentacles this person then oh yeah mm -mm, mm -mm. i'm getting i'm hearing go with your friends go drink with the devil and the three of cups like this is somebody who overindulges in drugs or um alcohol yeah like y'all are over it the ten of pentacles um the queen of pentacles and the death card for some of you this could be a marriage 
um, with the Ten of Pentacles, or you've been dealing with this person for a long time. But uh, I feel like you want you want something to end. Um, I feel like you aren't putting forth any effort. I feel like you want some fresh new energy with this Ace of Wands. And you want this person to regret something that they said or did. I definitely see that. Like, you want them to regret it. So what is the Queen of Pentacles here? The High Priestess. See, you're very intuitive, okay? You're using your intuition on this. Um, maybe you've been dealing with this from this person for a while. And, like, yeah. There's that emperor again. Like, there's somebody here that got control issues. Yeah. Somebody here has control issues. You might feel like this person is super controlling. Um, they try to control everything. And they possibly try to control the money. And you're like, uh-uh. Like, nah. Intuitively, I feel like y'all are listening to your intuition on this. Your intuition might have told you... Uh, I feel like you you might have still have hope for the situation and you probably possibly waited around with the emperor this could be like a mother i mean a father energy like uh, a baby mother baby father energy why is the four of pentacles here the world yeah see you've been refraining from being you oh the world and the ten of wands y'all are like at your wits end with this person because you want something new with the Ace of Wands. Six of Cups, children could be involved. Uh, yeah, I'm getting small children. The Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords, definitely like small children. Children could be involved. And this is possibly like with the Three of Swords, there could be three children involved. But I'm getting like with the Three of Swords and the Magician and the Seven of Cups, somebody needs to make a decision. You may feel like you ultimately you're going to have to make the decision it may be a heartbreaking decision but you know you're I, i'm just seeing you not putting forth any effort um in this situation right now like you're just like nah see look we got the two of cups and it came out reversed and none of these cards are reversed but it came out reversed okay so there's a breakup here there's a breakup here yeah and see the lovers see i feel like you love this person you do love this person yeah and see the the judgment card i feel like you do love this person or there's children involved and it'll break your heart to split up split this up why is the judgment card here you're waiting you're waiting, you're possibly waiting for this person to make a final decision or you're waiting before you make this final decision. Like you're trying to be patient. Page of Swords. Yeah, see with the Page of Swords, you, somebody was, ooh, the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords. Somebody could have told you that they saw your person with the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. There could be a third party. That's possibly why that Three of Swords is here. I'm just putting that out there. Uh, your person could have been being very reckless, could have been very reckless, and they have done this before with the Knight of Swords and the Six of Cups, and you uh, let this person back, you gave this person another chance, but you might have seen something, or somebody saw something, why is the Page of Swords here? The Three of Cups, like I said, there's been some he say, she say going on. The King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male, but somebody here is being very, very, very cutthroat in their communication. Um, the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved. The Empress, okay? This could definitely be a third party, or I'm getting baby mama, baby father issues, okay? I'm getting, I'm hearing that as well, clearly. But there's definitely, like, some he say, she say going on. Like, why is the Three of Cups here? Look, the Page of Swords, the Strength card. A Leo could be involved. Um, but you could be trying to refrain from involving other people. The sun card, I'm definitely getting the Leos involved. A Leo could be involved. Yeah. Yeah. A Leo could be involved. Let's tie this together because this is wild. Like, 
Taurus hasn't gotten this energy. That's you know what? It's that da it's that damn Aries retro that Mars retrograde. That Mars retrograde, I'm telling you, is is not. It has it ain't here to play. Is not here to play. <laughs> it is not. Give me a read for Taurus. I got the Ten of Wands. Like I said, y'all feel so burdened by this situation. Like y'all feel burnt out. This situation has burnt you out. Yep. You're confused. You're trying to keep busy with the Two of Swords and Two of Pentacles. You don't know what to do with the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're emotionally tied to this situation. Oh, y'all are done. It's, I'm here and wrap this up. Or you don't know how to wrap this up. Because I got the two of swords here. But the world and the ten of wands, that came out for y'all twice in this read. Y'all want to be done. Queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is cutting someone off or cussing somebody out. We got the sun card, okay? Yeah, like, let me see. Why is the two y'all feel burnt? This, this situation is over and done with. Yes, look at you. You're tired of this. You're tired of feeling burdened by this situation. It's too much with that two of pentacles. It's too much. Oh, see, like I said, somebody could have found out that, some, that they're a part of a third party. Or there is, uh, we got the Knight of Cups. And the, yeah, like you're waiting for this person to tell you. Why is the Empress here? That just jumped out. Three of Cups, yeah. For some of you, it's definitely a third party. Yeah, and see, look, the Three of Swords. Yeah, and the Knight of Swords. This person is running around or you're running around. It's just a lot. Somebody's possibly even like, it may not even be that somebody's cheating. It's just that somebody's running around with their friends, like being irresponsible, and you are just flat out tired of it. Why is the two of swords here? Yep, like I said, you're not putting a lick of effort into this situation no more. No more. This is, you have been worried. You have been not getting sleep at night. You've been holding this in. King of Cups keeps coming out. You've been holding this in. You've been holding it long enough. You're tired. My Queen of Swords here. Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers. You, you, um, why is Lovers here? I'm getting Capricorn, okay, the lovers and the four of wands, like, you're regretting a decision, like, you're regretting a decision, possibly to move in with this person, or marry this person with that four of wands, or, you know, four of wands is, you know, a stability, like, you know, home life. Yeah, see, now... This is definitely about stability because now you're possibly contemplating on being single with the nine of pentacles. Can I do this alone? If I leave, um, is all of this going to end? If I leave this relationship, how do I move forward? Okay. Yeah. Because you just got some shocking news. The, the tower and the eight of wands. We got the strength card. Definitely could be a Leo. And the three of pentacles. This could have been a situation. Somebody could have been dealing with somebody at work. I'm seeing that as well too. Why is the world card here? Yeah. Two of cups. And the hermit. And the six of wands. You're tired of this person always looking for recognition or looking for attention. Why is the sun card here? Yeah, the will of fortune. But get ready because things are getting ready to shift. The energy is going to be shifting, okay? So, because we got the sun and the will of fortune. So, the sun is definitely the most positive card in the deck. The will of fortune is saying that the universe is going to conspire and work in your favor, okay? So, this is positive changes. So, 
I feel like you're going to have to shift your mindset, your mind frame. Um, you may. I'm getting like some of y'all are in communication with the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Because I got the Page of Cups. Like, yeah, I'm getting like the Ten of Swords. You feel stabbed in the back, betrayed. Um, and I, I'm getting that. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The King of Cups, like I said. Somebody's going to be coming and apologizing. They're going to be coming and apologizing. Or you're going to be opening up. Or they're going to be opening up. Yeah, somebody's going to be ready to talk in the near future. Okay, somebody's gonna be ready to talk after they but they what they not what they aren't getting is that your guard is you you don't trust them. You don't trust them. They betrayed you. They betrayed you. You don't feel like you can trust this person or vice versa. Yep, six of swords. And the Six of Cups. So somebody's going to be wanting to either return. See the Six of Cups is saying a return. And then the Six of Swords is saying move on. Moving on from the past. Getting over it. So maybe you're deciding to let this go. Some of you are going to let it go. And get over it. And continue to work on this connection. But some of you are like, hell no. Mm -mm. I'm not going back. Ten of Swords and the Chariot. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. <laughs> all right, y'all check out the description box if you would like to book your own personal reading, all right? Until next time, ciao.